Good evening, CC and RR fans, LEGO fans around the world. RR is back with another amazing set that I'm looking very forward to. I've got my hands on the new NASA Space Shuttle Discovery LEGO set that came out uh, here in April 2021. It's set 10283. Is 2,354 pieces, retails for about 200. And boy, is this pretty sweet. This box is huge. It's like two feet long. It is in the adult box. It's got 18 plus on it. It's a black with a gray, dark gray bottom. It's got the Space Shuttle Program NASA symbol on it. It comes with the Space Shuttle the Hubble telescope, and it comes with two display stands. Here's the side. And then here's the back. Pretty sweet. I'm a big fan of these space sets. So uh, this was pretty much a, a must for me. And LEGO keeps throwing up new sets like crazy, good quality sets. So I had to pick this up, especially after the Saturn V and the Lunar Lander. This just goes perfectly with that. It comes with, uh, it's a pretty thin box. It's only about maybe five inches. No, not even that, maybe four inches in width. And it comes with one white box as well. I haven't seen one of those in a little bit, but it comes with a white box and it's got the tape on the side. So it is cut, you don't rip it open, which is nice. It comes with 17 numbered bags. Um, only number two is a double bag set and it comes with one un, un uh, numbered bag here. And then let's get into the instructions real quick. A pretty thick manual. There's your, your cover. Comes with two display stands for the different. You can display them separately or you can put the Hubble telescope in the shuttle, which is pretty sweet. It's got the symbol again on the back. This does go into a little bit of info about the space shuttle and discovery, which is what we're building. Goes into the designer. Gets into your tool. And then it talks about the bags here. So bag one through three is the Hubble telescope. Four through seven is the bottom of the shuttle. Get more into the body of the shuttle from nine to 12. And then the rest of the bags get into the rest of completing the shuttle. And it, then it goes into the Hubble telescope and then you are straight into the build so there are some stickers with this set quite a bit actually so you basically get these three items this is not a sticker right here this just instead of i guess doing it in lego bricks they decided to just do it as a uh, super shiny set of solar panels uh, a little different than the space station and then you get this sticker sheet. There are a lot of printed pieces in this set, but there are unfortunately quite a bit of stickers as well. And then this is this is a huge sticker sheet with quite a bit of stickers. This goes in the space shuttle um, on the doors. So unfortunately, a lot of stickers here that got to be put on. And if you're crazy about getting those stickers on uh, straight, this is going to be a fun set to say the least. All right, so enough talking. Let's get to building. All right, fans, so if you love space, they're starting off with a bang with this one. So after three bags, the Hubble telescope is complete. So you get this sweet little stand. That's a sticker. Pretty sweet. And then you get this sweet black stand to hold the Hubble, the Hubble uh, telescope. There are no stickers on this. Uh, this is these are those big plates this is like a, a thin material get this little door that opens for the telescope pretty sweet 
Uh, here's the back, and we'll get into this a little bit later in more detail. But pretty sweet so far in the build. So more details to come. On to bag bow. Are back after completing bags four through six. And as you can see, we're starting to make some progress on the shuttle itself. Uh, you get to build this little stand for the uh, shuttle and or yeah, the display stand and then this sweet uh, shelf stand as well, which is a very nice, elegant design. It is not movable. This does not shift. It is solid. And then you're starting to build the hull and the bottom of the ship with the wheels in the back so far. So not much to really show at this point as it relates to the shuttle, but we are making progress on to seven. So seven, eight, and nine are now done. We have quite a bit of the outline of the wings here in the back and up to the front. We also have the landing gear in place. These are two prints that are pretty sweet. We'll look at those in closer detail a little bit later on. Um, but we have the mechanism in place for the two landing gears or the three landing gears here with this piece back here this kind of moves and I'll, I'll show you that later on looking pretty good so far a lot more to go though all right see you in a little bit all right ladies and gentlemen i have now completed up to bag 12 and we're starting to get a shuttle got the rockets in the back Starting to build the, the top of the fin. Starting to do a little bit of the cockpit. The hull is now almost completed where the Hubble telescope will be. Getting there. All right, going to bag 13. Hey, CC and R fans, it's been a long day. Been building and uh, chiseling through this space shuttle. We are getting very close to the end. In fact, I built a little bit more than three bags this time. Uh, you build all of this top in the in the last several bags, and you build the thrusters uh, in the back, and then obviously the giant fin here. So lots to lots to uh, show. I'm getting very close to the end. In fact, I got basically one bag left, and then I will show this beauty in all of its glory. See ya in a few minutes. Well, here we are, finished, fans. And boy, is this an awesome set. Uh, I can't ask for much more on a set like this. Uh, they did a pretty, pretty sweet. There's a couple of very small knocks, but all in all, fantastically done. Pretty awesome Lego build here. There's lots of little cool features on this thing, which we'll get into here in just a little bit. But this set is big, and it's everything you'd expect out of something like this. Cool stand that it can go on. Makes it look like it's launching. Check this out. And then there's the Hubble telescope as well. So let's get into this and what, what you got going on here. So you got a couple of features uh, on the outside here, really three big ones. Uh, the first one here is kind of, they're, they're all really hidden, but the first one you got is if you turn this, you got the back here that moves the, the rudder, which is pretty sweet. Um, the, the back of the fin opens up. And this is apparently to slow the ship down. So this kind of spreads out a little bit here. And then I can go back in. Now getting into uh, some of this stuff out here. This is a print. I don't know what Lego, like I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to what Lego do does here as far as stickers versus prints. Um, that is a sticker. But that's print and that's print. In the front here, that's a sticker here. But those are prints. The, the front windshield is a print. That's another sticker. And the same thing on this side. So these two are prints and that's a sticker. 
The only knock, and I'll show you this here in a minute, is when you open this up, there's a ton of stickers in there, and it's, it's, it's really a big pain in the butt to put all of those on. So the other neat little thing here is you can pop this cockpit off, and you see that that's the mid-bay. Those are prints up there. And prints at the bottom as well. And then this, this little piece, actually the top comes off, and inside reveals the cockpit. And those are all prints as well. So that's a cool little feature. It just kind of pops in there. This goes on top. And then this slides right back in here. Nice and snug. So the other, the other thing is we'll show you the landing uh, the other outside feature, which is the landing gear. But since we're on the stand here, I'll open this up so you can see the interior. Now, all of this silver mirror is all stickers. And boy, was it a nightmare trying to put all those stickers on I me. Mean, look at that shot. That's all stickers. Uh, it would have been awesome if that was Prince. But, you know, I, I, again, I don't know what makes something worthy of a sticker versus a print, but that was a nightmare. The American flag is a print. So that's nice there. There's a little window for the astronauts up here. And this is where the Hubble telescope is gonna go in just a little bit. So let's check out the landing gear. So here is the stand. It's a pretty solid built stand. This does not adjust, it's all solid. And then on the bottom of the ship, you have these two nodules where it would go. And, and it is worth saying that this is a very well-built, pretty sturdy ship. Um, the other out, out, outside feature is if you hit this, you push it in, the landing gear will go down. So you hit it pretty hard, and then they go out, they pop out, and it lands, and it's, it's pretty sweet how that goes. They do not retract. You basically got to push these back in and you're off to the races again. So that's pretty sweet. That's a pretty sweet feature. So the other feature I'll show is in the interior here where the Hubble telescope would go. Basically this pops open and uh, that's the, the section of where it will go and you can actually display it inside completely or you can display it with another piece of the stand where it kind of looks like it's being uh, opened up. So we'll do that next. Okay, so here is, uh, before we show this in the shuttle, here is the Hubble telescope. These are, are separate pieces. These are not stickers. It's kind of like a, a vinyl-y type material. The Na NASA is a print, which is a nice print. Uh, here's the bottom of the telescope. And then this opens up in the front to reveal the actual lens. And then it's got these two nodules here, and that's where it goes on the stand. And this stand, again, is a stationary stand. It doesn't move. And you plug it on those two little nodules, and you got an extra little stand there, which is pretty sweet. I think that's actually backwards, but you get the point. The other thing that it comes with um, is these two pegs and these are supposed to be the solar panels wrapped up so these pop off here and you put this on instead and this is like the solar panels that are wrapped up which is a kind of a neat little feature uh, and then this is the part this is the other part of the stand which will go into the shuttle as if it was being deployed and we'll show that now All right, so what you do is you take this little stand that they give you and it slides into the shuttle here, pretty tight fit. Then what you do is you take this component off of the Hubble telescope. This is in here like this, and that pops out. I did wrap up the uh, solar panels, but you can display it without that. The last thing you do is you take the little clips off of this stand and you put them in here. And then it basically just slides on this hole. And then this little arm is supposed to come out and sort of connect in here. 
So you can display it like that, which is a pretty sweet addition. The other thing you can, as I was saying before, if you want, you can pop this off and you can display it with the uh, solar panels on as well, if you wanted to. Which is, I think, pretty sweet as well. So these would go like that. And you can display it if you wanted to like that as well, as if it was being deployed, which is a pretty neat feature. And then the last, last thing I'll show is I'll put the other sides back on and put it in the shuttle so you can see it all nice and tucked away. So here is the Hubble telescope inside of the shuttle. It does fit nice and snugly. You do unfortunately have to take these off it will not fit with these claps claps clasps sorry it's very early in the morning these won't fit on here so you do have to take those off but other than that it does fit in here nice and secure uh, if you wanted to store it in here you, you easily could it just kind of freeform sits in there and is nice and this arm gets clipped back on there and then you're off to the races. So if you wanted to, you could, these, these do have plenty of room to sit in here, but uh, they do not stay on the side, unfortunately. It's nice and closed up. All in all, a fantastic set. If you're into space, really the only knock on this set is going to be the stickers on the, the silver stuff. But other than that, this is a very well-made, sturdy set. Uh, it looks great on display. It would have been maybe cool to have the five astronauts that are typically on the ship, the little micro figures, but uh, that's uh, a very small gripe. The other last piece here is, as mentioned before, you get two stands. That's for the shuttle, and this is for the Hubble telescope. And both of those are stickers. So all in all, if you're into space, this is definitely a set you're going to have to get. It is pretty awesome. All right, CC and RR fans, stay tuned for another fabulous episode. Peace. United States Discovery coming in for a landing. Inject those wheels. Just missed them. What a great smooth landing.